Hearts of Iron 4 2021 mods, yeah. What are the mods that made the Hoi 4 history? So Hoi 4 is already like four years old. What mods really made the Hoi 4 modding history? Let's talk about that today. You can find all the mod links in the description. You'll find the greatest Hoi 4 mods in this video. Cold War, Iron Curtain, Avril Divided. So this mod makes for sure Hearts of Iron 4 history since it was the first mod to make a curl cold war world and we really were waiting for that scenario everybody suggested in the early stages of hope for shit i wanted really a cold war scenario or a world war one but we'll talk about that later so yeah since we last checked the mod has risen risen a lot in its popularity it's been going up with the updates and it's been improving so the mod settles from 1949 to 1970 and there are quite a lot of plans to extend it to the 1990s or yeah after the 1970s so a little bit further this mod features between 10 to 20 years a word of content to all the major powers including some minors it also has thousands of new events new units new mechanics including decon and mad you can purchase equipment from the private sector a new economic system and many nations have their own unique mechanics as well and yeah you should really look into the mod because there's uh, quite a lot of countries new countries if you played world war ii scenario there's way more in the cold war and it's quite fun you should really check it out there are new ideologies and new focus trees and quite a lot of stuff you can do in the cold war mod on number 4 spot we have the Road to 56, more than just extending the timeline to 1956, this mod peppers the entire world with a greater detail and complexity, not content to wait for Paradox to release in the content packs or the DLCs, this mod actually gives you a lot of focus trees for dozens of countries that don't have a focus tree in the base game and the mo most amazing part about this a deeper focus on different countries is that it offers choices to go to the very heart of the focus system the ability to choose a nation's destiny does not need to be an exercise in strict historicity or history uh, the creativity that the team places on the focus trees is really crazy all the upgrades the expansions the technologies political mechanics laws etc even the ideologies so it's very interesting this is a one stop of total enchantment of the game it really improves the game quite a lot in some um in some countries it might be a bit unbalanced some people say germany the game for germany is way too easy or stuff like that but i don't know it's very cool to play as a random country like guatemala or el salvador or some little nation i don't know even in europe finland has a huge focus tree and doing stuff as these countries is just way more interesting than the base game because in the base game you don't have so many options as these smaller nations but the road to 56 makes those smaller nations actually important or at least useful in the game so i recommend checking the road to 56 out it's almost impossible to talk about hoi 4 mods without mentioning this number three mod kaiserreich kaiserreich is a big part of the hoi 4 modding community let me tell you why so kaiserreich is based on what if germany had won world war one there's a lot of mods like this what if what if that basically kaiserreich started all of that what if germany did that what if uh, russia did this what if someone did this what if this didn't happen and uh, kaiserreich is super detailed mod with a huge mod team or like very working mod team that actually updates the mod and it's just so impressive you really need to try it out if you haven't it has a an interesting alternative uh history scenario a lot of focus trees new parties new ministers the new countries and uh a lot of interesting areas like italy and a lot of interesting uh places i really want to say that kaiserreich is like how could i say it like specific or special because 
not in all not in not in all mods you're gonna see italy in like six different parts or like russia collapsed into four or five different places and it's just a very good mod in my opinion you really need to test it out there's over 100 focus trees during the game there are a lot of changes in the leaders and all that really you need to play to explain it you really just need to play it it's what of germany won world war one so this brings us to number two old world blues without old world blues we might have never had like the all these star wars mods and all these very different different scenario mods with like Okay, alien zombies that some of them existed before, but Old World Blues was the first one to do it really correctly and properly. Old World Blues is the mod that's uh, made or brings the Fallout universe to Hearts of Iron 4, which makes which makes it surprisingly like cool. The research tab is fucking huge. It's been replaced with a new research tree reflecting the Fallout universe. And uh, there's a lot of factions, tribal things, new events. It's a different world. It's completely different. There's even a different map. You'll be like, is this even Hoi 4? Is this like a different version of Hoi 4? Is this a, like, what the hell? You'll not think it's a mod even. You'll think it's some crazy add-on or a different game. Yeah, it really makes Hoi 4 very different. There's lakes and uh, rivers and a lot of things added to the mod, like robots, psychos bicycles dynamites all that stuff old world blues is super interesting one of my favorites i recommend checking it out number one you've probably heard this one or seen it it's one of the most uh popular whole four related mods millennium dawn modern day mod even people outside the whole four community have heard of millennium dawn and kaiser reich those are super super popular mods and ideas so millennium dawn brings the modern day to the game you're able to play as new countries like ukraine belarus latvia lithuania all these countries um even in the balkans you know you're able to play as bosnia macedonia um Kosovo if you call it a country whatever I'm not gonna get into this situation but you're gonna basically play in the modern day in the 2000s you can research like new things drones planes all that kind of stuff you can drive modern tanks and there are basically the modern leaders you can play as Vladimir Putin Joe Biden probably I don't know if he's been added to the mod right now but like Angela Merkel formed the European Union, try to restore the USSR, new countries as um, as America, play as Kim Jong-un in North Korea. Basically, it's the modern world and it's super cool. I recommend, really recommend checking it out. We wouldn't have all these like famous Hoi 4 videos without the Millennium Dawn mod. There's so many memes about Merkel ISP has made in different people yeah it's a very very cool mod maybe not the most balanced and it really takes time to play the mod but yeah it's a quite interesting mod I recommend checking it out and yeah guys there was my list tell me what you think what are your favorite mods down in the comments and I'll probably make a few more videos like this um on different aspects what are like the best let's say graphical or like map mods or something to help you out because i know a lot of you like this type of videos so yeah thanks everybody for watching it was me iron Operin, and i'll catch you in the next one remember to subscribe because we don't only make these top lists we also play the game and make fun videos so subscribe and i'll see you later